After arriving in Nepal and exploring the beautiful city of Kathmandu, we took an adventurous bus ride through the rugged mountains of Nepal to one of the most visited tourist destinations, Pokhara. A city filled with natural beauty, outdoor adventures, and dare I say unexpected experiences, here's an idea of what you could expect if you decide to travel here. All right, good morning guys from Pokhara. We're gonna be exploring the day here. This is actually our second day. Yesterday we took the day off just to relax, uh, have lunch, and catch up on some work. Today we're going to be doing some activities around here and exploring the town. This is the main street that we're behind. This is definitely the area you want to be at. It's called Lakeside. All the big hotels here uh, range from like uh, 1,500 rupee to 10,000, 20,000 rupee a day. Uh, so that will give you an idea of the cost depending on whether you want budget or um, somewhat more luxury. What we're paying is about five, 6,000 rupee a day about 35 to 45 dollars um so yeah not too bad actually pretty good day out we're gonna go to the lake first here we're gonna take one of the famous boats here out on the lake and uh explore the rest of the town so the main street here offers a lot as far as shopping uh treks for you to do travel agents uh there's a lot of money exchanges around here as well different cafes uh, everything you really need is all along this main street and it's very walkable here. You got sidewalks, you got scooter rentals, uh, bicycle rentals. Everything you really need is super convenient being on the street. Can we do the per hour with driver? <laughs> We gotta put on these life jackets to stay safe out here. I wonder how deep these things are. And we're off. <laughs> you don't look very excited for this trip. <laughs> so they got two boat options for you. They got these paddle boats here, which are a little more expensive, but they fit seven people. Or they got these rowboats for 900 rupee only for an hour, which is not too bad in my opinion. 900 rupees for a one hour trip around the lake. I think uh, an hour is just long enough because you're gonna get sunburnt on this road, on this trip. Hello, hello, Fernandita. Hello, hello. You do have two options if you wanna come out on this lake. You can either just come in the middle of the lake and just enjoy a, a short one hour trip, or right behind me is actually a temple near the lake, actually in the lake. And you can take the trip up to the temple there uh, for like an extra two or three hundred rupee um, and then come back around to the uh, to the boat port. So we are arriving back after about an hour trip. It was very nice. Okay. I've never seen a Mountain Dew in a, a glass bottle like this. Usually in America, they just sell them in a can or in a regular plastic bottle. <laughs> so just down the street from the lake where you buy your tickets for the boat rides, there's a lot of these restaurants lined up, as you can see. Right along the street line here. All pretty local, they sell a lot of Nepali style, uh, Indian style dishes here. Uh, so we got some momos here for a quick snack. We haven't eaten breakfast since like 8 a.m. so it's been quite a while, it's already afternoon. Yeah. I feel like all we're eating in Nepal is, is momo. This one, the dumpling. I am a sucker for dumplings and this is the closest thing to a dumpling. Mm. Whoa. It's got a kick to it, that spice. It's really good. Very fresh as well. Ooh, man, that leaves a very spicy aftertaste, but like very good. It's got like a lot of citrus and vinegar in there, but wow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a little uh, somber, as you can see from the sun already today. Uh, we are at the hotel now, let's check in. Look at this, guys. Do you see what I see? It's a KFC. All the way out here in Pokhara. Okay, let's show you the room we're staying in. 302. 302. Buzz, 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 buzz. Hello. Wow. 
Nice. Not too bad. Very comfy, cool, air conditioned. Got even the balcony, looks like. How do I do this? Uh oh. Mm. Overlooking KFC and the main road on Pokra here. Wow, they got some construction maybe going on here. Got a few rooftops, but you can see the beautiful lake there in the distance and the mountain over here. Incredible views on in Pokra. I really love this city. It's just very relaxing here, very cool. The air is very clean. It just all you have to do is just relax and chill here. It's amazing. And then here we got a nice little working desk. Got some international plugs. Love that. And then we got the TV here and some coffee, some tea, complimentary waters. We need that. Nice little closet. Let's see how big this space is. Looks like, oh, got a few hangers in here. Yeah. And then a really nice bathroom. Wow. A very big bathroom. We're right now looking for flights from Pokhara back to Kathmandu because if you guys saw in the last video, the bus here is, well, not so great. <laughs> and I'm just looking out of curiosity what it costs to go back to Kathmandu on a flight. Um, well, it costs $100 one way and you want to guess how much it costs Nepali citizens to fly to Kathmandu? <laughs> uh, I would say if you pay 150... We pay 100. We pay 100 and Nepali is supposed to be 70. 30. What? 30. Oh, yeah. Why is it like that? That's one thing I don't understand. I mean, I understand, I guess, Nepal... Nepal you guys in Nepal, they may, may not make as much money as other citizens, but I don't you like. Even flight ticket? Why did they do that? Because I don't. Yeah. Normally, they are the same. I don't understand why even for a flight ticket they segregate it based on which citizenship you are. That is such a drastic difference between the price of locals here in Nepal and foreigners here in Nepal. It's it's insane, actually. I can't believe it. Well guys, the city certainly comes alive at night. We're walking down towards the lake because we heard that there's a lot of cafes that overlook the water. Uh, so let's check out what the nightlife is gonna be out here in Pokhara tonight. So you guys remember, we actually were out here earlier today on the boats and now all the restaurants have all their foods out to showcase. Wow, so busy. Something's going on there, definitely. There is Ferris wheels working. <laughs> <laughs> working, spinning. Spinning. <laughs> so just outside of where you buy your tickets to go on the boats on the lake here, they have a, a very long pathway which leads all around the lake. And there's lots of uh, street vendors and cafes that overlook the water. So as you're walking down, you can stop by off one of these little restaurants and cafes. And they got some alcohol, looks like a bar over there. Some smoothie place. And it's all overlooking the lake here. It's a little dark so you can't see it now. <laughs> Get no. on it. <laughs> oh come on! I think it'd be fun. Oh, it's already it's, it's already it's been it'll stop for us. Let's go. <laughs> Mega. Question is, how do we get up there though? I have no idea. Welcome to Disneyland. Let me show you around. <laughs> so I think this is targeted more towards little kids, but <laughs> maybe we'll get on the ride. I don't know how safe these are, but <laughs> as you said, Yola. Look how fast it's going. Oh my god. <laughs> is it really fast? That is fast. Oh my god, they're screaming. Let's go. Let's just go up for it. How much? Can we do that thing? Two people? Huh? 150. I'm actually kind of afraid to get on this now. 
<laughs> okay, should we just leave? No, we should go on it. We already bought the tickets. Is that even one dollar? I really don't know if on camera it shows really how fast this is going, but it's going really fast. Do you guys hear how loud that squeaking sound is? I can't believe I'm getting on these rides in Pokhara. My god, they are still going. How long is this ride? Here we go. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. We're watching people get off right now. And they look like they are holding their stomach. What have we gotten ourselves into? Are you afraid of heights? Yeah. Oh, well this is probably not the best ride for you. I kind of regret I'm doing this now. Yeah, me too actually. <laughs> Should be people enjoying it, not giving it a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> like this is giving us anxiety right now. Right now we're going a comfortable pace but... Oh man, it... No, it's getting faster. Uh oh, this is getting faster. Oh my god. This is fine. This is fine. Oh my. This is not what I expected to be! Oh my god. This is like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Look how fast we're going. Oh my god. Welcome to Nepal, where the Ferris wheels feels like a roller coaster ride. This is like overspeed. Overspeed. This is definitely not under control. And then if you see the office, uh, the the staff is still under it. The guy that is controlling this is no no older than 15 or 16 years old. How do you open this thing? Well, I'm shaking. <laughs> this is the other stuff that he has to handle. So he has to handle both this one and this. The guy that was controlling our Ferris wheel is now controlling this one. So he's doing both rides at the same time. You still want to eat? You still hungry? <laughs> We're watching this kid about to get. Oh no, she's crying. I thought she was about to get on this ride. This this little girl was about to get on the most terrifying ride of her life, and she's now crying. Good thing she didn't get on. Oh well guys, if you want to try the death-defying ride, it is called Pokhara Disneyland and Fun Park. Would I recommend it? I don't know, because I don't know how safe that was. I honestly love the variety that Pokhara has. They have everything from, of course, Nepali cuisine, but all types of international foods from Thai, Korean, American, and even Irish pubs like that. This is one of the fancy places that we saw here in Pokhara. So we're gonna go ahead, order whatever we want. Any wine, any drinks, anything, any food. And we're gonna check how much it costs in the end. So far everything on this menu here is about double the price of what we would typically pay at any of these other restaurants. So it's more catered towards foreigners, I think in my opinion, uh, from what I see in a lot of tourists. Uh, so, we decided to get two house, house wines, uh, a pizza, and uh, she got a honey glazed chicken. Our food has come out. Um, so I got a pretty large pizza here for myself and then Tanya has gotten uh, a chicken chicken filet. Presentation is actually very good. Our, the reason I got a, a pizza here is because I saw they had a, a huge oven pizza downstairs so can't be that bad right? 
It was actually really good. It's a little bit. It's actually fancy, and we spent about four thousand, four thousand, which is around forty-four Australian. Forty-four Australian. Oh, so cheap. Yeah, overall the the meals were very good. Good wine, good food, um, but again, good yeah, good ambiance as well, ambience. overlooking the uh, road here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but of course you're gonna pay foreigner price, so you definitely don't have to spend that every single night here. You can go for local meals for about a uh, thousand to a thousand five hundred per per uh, for a couple, uh, which is what roughly we've been averaging for a meal here together. So yeah, overall amazing place. We absolutely love Pokhara. This is a place that we wish we would spend a little more time, but yeah. I think that's gonna conclude our night. We almost had a death-defying adventure on the, on the Ferris wheel. After that, I think we're gonna call it a night. So if you guys have any questions about coming here, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.